Hello everyone, so Yaken here from Trend Ground. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact gameplay featuring today's device, the Vivo X200 Pro. So powering this device is the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 chipset and packed along with, you do know, 16 gigs of RAM. So this is the uh, only variant available for the Malaysian market. So I have actually uh, turned on the uh, game mode over here. So as you can see, I'm only running on the balance mode right now. And you will be able to see what are my settings as well. So I'm going to show you the graphics quality. So I'm actually running at the highest setting as possible. High, 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 everything on high. I also turn on the bloom, anti-aliasing, motion blur is also high as well. Yeah, so we are maxing the thing out of this device. So let's game, shall we? Alright, so let's go. I think we're gonna go into my uh, temple of the wolf. The teleport over there. Yeah, let's just go in here and slug it out. Let's start. Alright, let me just put it here for a while. And make myself a little bit comfortable as we are going to be ready to battle it out. Feels good. Everything is like silky smooth. Nice. But whether it will last long in terms of the performance, I'm not sure. Gameplay is so good, super good. I just love it.
Not bad, not bad. But I need to heal my pips up. Okay, I'm gonna confirm, confirm. I gotta heal up my people up first. Okay, let's go. Let us just go and grab our things up first. Anything for us to take? Okay, so we're gonna leave. Not bad, not bad. Gameplay wise looks quite good over here. Kinda like it. Not bad. So we have done the the uh ruin gameplay. And I also actually play quite fast. It's all because of the uh, smoothness of this device. 
So as you can see the CPU, GPU right now. I think under 10 minute in the ruin with the smooth response, no lagginess, it's very very good. So you, as you can see it's already like more than 9 minutes of gameplay is quite adequate enough to keep continuing delivering smooth gameplay performance over here. I still don't feel any like uh slowing down or whatsoever. So now let's just go out to the open world and we're gonna play. Not bad. Gameplay looks... Still delivering very very smooth gameplay. Frame rate is super stable. I think I only start to feel the warmth of the device, especially on the back cover, right now. Yeah. So it's already like kind of thirty minutes.
and we are pretty much done. Let's keep going. I gotta say this is truly I think 25 flagship devices are really really powerful Wow I'm impressed Check it out Already like more than 15 minutes of gameplay Check it out The scrolling effect is still smooth The graphics looks nice You you tell me if this is not amazing Look out the graphic Check it out So good it's nice and in terms of the warm I just really felt like uh, okay the warm start to build up a little bit but it's not like uh, uncomfortable to hold on to it it's pretty quite good and I'm actually not playing under a fan so that is already a plus point over here that this device is able to cook up and I think if you're going to get the Vivo X200 Pro for gaming yeah it's something for you to uh, going to have a good gaming immersiveness truly wonderful i think go ahead go and get it if you are going to uh, purchase the vivo x200 pro for your mobile gaming needs truly amazing device yeah not bad display is amazing the speakers are great as well perfect combination premium flagship device for mobile gaming and with that i'm yaken over here i need to uh sign off and that's the Genshin Impact gameplay for the Vivo X200 Pro.